I mean, a shocking incident. Two sisters who had come to the city to tie Rocky to their brother met a tragic end at the Chikkabanavar gate. The deceased have been identified as 28-year-old Uma Devi and 22-year-old Radha. Now, based in Andhra, the two sisters had come in the morning to Bengaluru. Now, after tying Rocky to their brother, both the sisters were supposed to board the train later in the evening. Now, it is learned that the sisters reached the Chikkabanavara gate at around 6 p.m., and they were crossing the tracks when a train coming from Tumkur knocked them down. Their bodies have been sent to MS Ramaya for a post-mortem and a complaint has also been registered in this regard. So quite a tragic end to these sisters who had come from Andhra just for Raksha Bandhan to tie Rakhi to their brother but ending in tragedy their lives being claimed by this train uh, which was heading from Tumkur. However, Unmanned crossings, a big concern in such situations. Once again, an unmanned crossing claiming uh, two lives now in Chikbanavara post. Well, moving on, KPSC aspirants continue with their protests late in the night at the Freedom Park. Now, JDS Supremo Devegaoda also paid a visit to the aggrieved aspirants. Now, even Police Commissioner MN Reddy pays a visit late in the night to check law and order at the Freedom Park. Now, meanwhile, the aspirants have decided that they will not budge until the government revokes its decision on the KPSC issue. So the aspirants there going on with their protest. They want the Chief Minister to come out there and speak to them, address their issues and give them some sort of relief. As of now, a re-examination has been ordered which the aspirants are not willing to budge into. David Gauda, who made his way there yesterday, joining in with the protesters in demand for justice for these uh, KPSC KS candidates 2011 batch. We we'll also noticed that the JDS Supremo David Gauda shed a few tears while he was at the spot now. The City Police Commissioner M. N. Reddy as well was at the spot. He was there to ensure that no untoward incidents take place and the security is in place. Now, be it the BBMP, BWSSB or even BESCOM, authorities ignoring complaints of aggrieved residents is nothing new. Now, unfortunately, the residents of the small locality in Whitefield fear that they will have to pay for their lack of ascal attitude of the BESCOM with their lives. These residents have seen many animals die at this unintended death trap set up by KB authorities. Well, yet another cow was electrocuted here. As the residents of Vijayanagar and Whitefield gathered around, they raised a question. What if it was one of their children? <laughs> The residents have stated that there's a school nearby from where kids come to play in the area. The live transformer had been installed years ago and no barrier has been constructed around it. The reason animals get electrocuted here is because of the garbage strewn near the transformer. Cows come looking for food but end up losing their lives. Predictably, this is not the first time an incident like this has occurred in the area. One year back, there was a fire in the area. 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 Suppose there was a fire in the area. There was a fire in the area. There was a fire in the area. The concerned KB authorities have clearly ignored the residents' complaints. They have agreed to construct a fence around the transformer. Residents have threatened to protest at the KB office if no action is taken in the next 15 days. Maltesh, News 9, Bengaluru.
After two months of hiatus thanks to the monsoon season, the fishing community is ready to venture out in the sea again. Now, before doing so, they performed worship and offered prayers to the sea god. Take a look. The sea is their lifeline and it is the one which provides them their livelihood. The fishing community can't live if they are separated from the sea. It is a known fact that fishing stays stalled during the first half of a monsoon season. Thanks to indifferent weather conditions, the district administration does not allow fishing to be carried out during June to July every year. On Sunday, this period was over and fishermen were raring to venture into the sea. But it has been accustomed to offer puja before entering the sea for fishing and this custom has been happening for centuries now. The fishing community held a worship ceremony on Malpe Beach. The community of fishermen with district in charge minister Vinay Kumar Sorke offered worship to the sea god and prayed for the safety and prosperity of the community. Samudra puja hirera kala to nero halavar varsha talimar ke na nadi to kuro bhartai de. Ado nu ega nau fishing ke boat suru adaga nau minu garar paravagi ma bandar na mala sanga samse paravagi minu garar samse nau ado nu martai deve. Hirera nu aga ganera nela idu kondo samudra dalii marvanta udyoga dalii eno adet adet eno kastana sta eno jiwa ke eno apaya bara 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 bandha yalla devra nu bedi kondo nau samudra raja rani ke vallay riti eli bhakti inda priti inda puja marte deve. The fishermen say that the custom of offering worship to the sea god has been in practice from ancient times. According to their belief, offering worship protects them from all the dangers in the sea. It is not only the fishing community that performs puja, but the industrialists and leaders too participate in it. Apart from Sorke, MLA Pramod Madhavraj was seen offering worship. <laughs> समुद्र के होगी मीन हिट जो युवत तो अवर हेनु मक्कल कोड़ा अदन मराठा मारों अंत कैलस कार्या इडी समसार ने होरगढ़ युद्ध कैलस कार्य मारों तो और अंता समदली युवत तो देवरा अनुग्रह कोड़ा बेको और मारों अंत वृत्ति के अनुग्रह कोड़ा बेको देवरा उन्हें सदा रक्षित बेको उन्हें तरीतेले प्रति वर्षों त the motorboats ventured into the sea after the worship was over. There are about 1,800 fishing boats in Malpe Beach and all of them were ready with crates of ice loaded in them. Arabalachi Yogaraj, News 9, Udupi. Now even as modernity sweeps across the country, a village in Karwar has ensured that people do not forget their roots. Take a look as to how they do it. This is the annual sports meet in Awudali village in Karwar. It is an unusual one as all the events are contested in muddy water. Volleyball, kabaddi, tug of war, three leg races, sack race are some of the events which form a part of the meet. Events were held in different age categories so that no one was left behind. The meet was inaugurated by Saraswati Gauda, the Zilla Panchayat president. The villagers believe organizing such events will help people remember their roots. Ibadat ini adalah lelaki ramai yang kerja kerja nasib kita. Adalah lelaki yang kesal kerja dengan kerja kerja mereka. Negeri itu tumbuh, nama beragam dalam tumbuh ini. Adalah nama orang lelaki anda lelaki setiap hari sahaja dengan kerja negeri itu. Ia adalah wujud sebagai putri ke orang madya muda orang nama jatuh kerja orang si awal itu untuk seperti mana dengan tumbuh santai saja. Mata orang ini adalah tumbuh oleh respons mana dari itu. Not just boys, but even women and girls participated in the event in large numbers. तुम्बा कुशियन स्थाई दे इस्टोर्शन वो क्रीडेल बागवी स्थाई दे भी आदरे ग्राउंड नल बागवी स्थाई दे क्रीड कैसर का देलिया इन्हों औरे को बंदो वर्षन वो आटा ऐड लेला ये वर्षा फर्स्ट टाइम आटा ऐड दे तुम्बा कुशियन स्थाई दे The enthusiasm shown at this event has got neighbouring villages thinking about conducting such events. Yeah. 
संदीप सागर फॉर न्यूज नाइन कारवार